So, Mr. Ndlovu recently appeared on one of my favorite podcasts or one of my favorite Christian podcast platforms, uh, The Dream Space, which is run by a husband and a wife. And actually, I actually know them. <laughs> I actually know them uh, because I think we met, I don't think, we met at a Baptist you know, one of those Baptist church meetings. So I think they were affiliated with the guys at Birchley in Greenstone, that particular Baptist church over there. So an amazing couple. They have a platform. And very recently, ah, not even recently, today, I realized while I was scrolling, you know, the YouTube algorithm is very faithful. I've uh, been a follower of the podcast. While I was scrolling, then I saw this particular episode. So I thought, I let me shine an eye on this particular episode. There's something that they bring up about the husbands and them type of things that I thought was worth us talking about. And you guys, please go check it out. It's the Rikshuality Show with the Daily Christian Commentary. If it is the first time over here, to be sure, check out the other videos that are down in the pinned comments and I'm going to check you out over there. Now, if I did forget to mention that their platform is uh, it's called the Dream Space. This is their platform right here. This is their page. I will leave this particular episode down in the description below and also in the comments down below. And then you can guys can, can go over and check it out. Now, the first point that he mentioned or that they mentioned or that they talked about that I thought... I want to pick this particular part. You guys can go and check out the rest of the conversation. Right. Right about here. Let's go. Yeah. Get married. Yeah. Um, I, think, I think if anything, it was something that I grew up wanting and longing to do. It wasn't like I had a epiphany or a moment where I spoke to X and mm. they were like, yo, dude, this is a thing to do, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I always knew I was going to get married and sure. I think that's just based on how I was raised. Mm. Christian home, both parents still together, <laughs> um, loving family, um, church, born yeah. again, yeah. you know, so I think marriage was definitely um, a milestone to take for me personally. Sure. Yeah. Um, and I think a lot of influence definitely came from seeing like my mom and my dad's relationship mm. because I in a way was raised as an only child because like my sister went to boarding school very okay. early on and sure. stuff and also older have, sister yeah older sister yeah. we have like a big age gap she's ages older than me sure so even by the time I was like in primary she was already in high school and yeah. she was brought to Joburg for high school whilst we were still in Polokwani sure. and then yeah so we we saw each other but we never like grew up yeah. together so it felt like I was an only child to some degree so I was always with my parents sure. so seeing that like relationship and I guess the idea mm. of marriage um, was like yeah I also want that one day now that's the first point that uh, he mentions is that grew around uh, his parents and when he saw their relationship it was such a motivation now one of the points I the reason why I wanted to pick that particular point so you guys can go check out the rest of it was that sometimes we start looking at each other on social media and then we forget the good values or the good relationships we've seen in our personal lives that have contributed positively to us or our views and then we choose what people are saying on social media. And we forget the good and valuable relationships that we see in our personal space. Now, this takes me, he gives an example about how his dad was such a, a good motivation for that. And let's take it on going forward here. So because of X, Y, and Z, this is how me and your mother did things mm. this is how i did things mm. but at this point certain things were happening at this point and then now i go back and I'm like, oh that's why that happened oh sure. that's why that happened sure. so then i so as he grew he started to realize things in his parents relationship 
that he started to piece through how the, the a healthy family marriage he was so protected that he didn't even see certain things about his parents relationship he didn't even realize certain things which when they were going on and stuff like that okay just bring it back over there mm-hmm. see how you protected me yeah. as your child but also how you protected my mom towards me mm. and how you protected yourself towards me mm. So then now I also get to see how to be a father to my child. Oh, come on, bro. You know, and yeah. within that there's aspects where obviously I can myself improve and say okay, I want to change that a little bit, sure. I want to change that, but there's a lot that I've definitely um would say mm. I I saw and appreciate and value from mm. Matthew's growth. Shout out, man. So, he's talking about his dad and how his dad was such a good role model for him when it comes to thing so that's the thing that i wanted to point at okay everything else please go watch the video uh as i've highlighted let me get rid of my headphones over here uh and so i i i, I wanted to highlight that so you can go check it out uh i wanted to take that particular point sometimes we look too much at what's happening on social media and we forget the good relationships in our personal life and then we make references or we use other people as references uh, and abandon the good relationship that we've seen in our personal space the ones that actually think it now by the way uh the husband on the platform actually has started a podcast uh of good dads basically and so that's the that's the series that you might see there with the yellow thumbnails uh, they do put a production value up there that's why i absolutely love their platform uh, apart from me knowing them and by the way uh, <laughs> to the dream guys <laughs> to the dream guys i'm still trying to find sfiso <laughs> help me find sfiso <laughs> sfiso and his wife they are very on social they are not on social media so they are almost impossible to find and so i do know that you guys are my best bet finding them and so i'll send you a text on instagram and so uh, I do know that they they do have their Instagram page there it reflects. Sometimes we start to value strangers opinions on what we have seen done well in our personal lives. We've seen relationships that were uh, good. You know, I personally Ricky have a sister. She's been married for six, six plus years now. Okay? I have a uh, a, a cousin who's been in a relationship for over 20 years okay so from the time she was in high school all the way to her adult years you know and so these are good models for marriage but then we we'll leave that and then we we'll go and adopt an idea online and forget the good uh, uh, examples that we've had in our personal life we have this tendency of listening to people we don't even know strangers <laughs> from god knows where wasalan not that they don't have an experience that's worth hearing but we should not especially when the bible says you know <laughs> what what god has put together let no man put asunder so god put together marriage god structured marriage to a point where even when we hear about our salvation from jesus thing he uses language of a marriage format you know i go to prepare a place for you so that way i am you may be also you know it's a very it's a very uh, it's a very christian idea marriage it's a it's a very christian okay now others might want to say clean it and what not yeah i'm saying it's a christian idea <laughs> because he goes to create a place so that where he is we may be with him which is the context of what happens when you've mauto to globola when you've just lobola you go you create your place where your wife is going to come and be with you and then also he speaks about the context of the marriage supper of the lamb and all that entire hodges it's god who fashioned marriage and so it's important we remember those stories because if you're going in there if you're going into marriage with all these bad stories of all these other people I don't know where they were in their life. <laughs> okay? 
some grew in pride and stuff and it just messed up things communication died and stuff like that but we have good references for marriage and so even in his life okay which is something that he mentioned here is that even in his life he had his dad as a good reference and that uh, uh, that reference of a christian father christian husband was what motivated him towards uh, having wanting for himself also a good marriage yeah I'll go check out the video i'll leave it down in the description below and also in the pinned comments wonderful time oh, oh, wonderful episode wonderful episode 